Check out this section we made with the Wix Studio and Pantone web capsule. It feels super immersive because as you scroll, the images are moving at different speeds. In this video, I'll show you how to create this effect. Feel free to build along if you like. I'll start by dividing my section into a three column grid. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the height now so it'll be easier to add my images in later. Let's go with a 1000 pixels. To choose the size of the columns, I'll click the section grid. Let's go with 40% for the widest column and then 30% for the other two. We want each element to cover the entire width of the column, so I'm going to resize them a bit. Then I'll add the image that I want below this container and I'll adjust the position and size here too. I'll add more elements in the same way. And once I have all the elements that I want in this column, I'll stack them. I'll quickly add all of the content to the rest of the columns now too. Done. I've now stacked all the elements in each column and you can also see that I made one stack shorter than the others. Next, I'll make the section's height shorter than the content inside the column. This creates the effect where more elements appear as we scroll. For my design, a viewport width of around 200 will work. Time to add the animations. In the first cell, I'll select the stack. Add a scroll animation. Choose Out as the animation type and select Move. And now I'll adjust it. I'll set the angle to zero degrees from the top. I'm setting this up based on the preview and where I want my last element in the stack to be visible when the movement is ending. And the animation path will be 20 to 77. For the distance, I'll put 48 VW. Likewise, for the stack in the second cell, I'll just add the same animation. And now I'll adjust it. I'll set all the same properties as before, but this time the distance will be 29 VW. That's because this stack is shorter and it'll create the illusion that they're moving at a different pace. Lastly, I'm adding the animation to the stack in the third cell. And here I'm setting almost the same properties as the first stack. Nice! All set up on desktop, let's move on to tablet. Here I only want two columns so it fits the smaller screen size better. So I'll just hide the right one. I also want both columns to be the same size so I'll set each one to 50%. I'll increase the section size to 1800 pixels, which is actually 234 VW as you can see here when I change the units. We'll also need to make some tweaks to the animation. So for the first stack, I'll change the distance to 55 VW. And for the second stack, I'll adjust the animation distance to 78 VW. Perfect. All done with tablet, now onto mobile, we'll set the section's height to 200 VW. Let's check the animation properties of the first stack. I'll adjust the distance to 50 VW. That looks better. And lastly, the second stack's animation properties. Let's increase the distance and adjust the animation area to end at 65. Now I'll just see which distance fits here best. Looks like 170 VW will work. And that's it. Our animation looks great. The columns are moving just like we want them to. For more build-along videos like this, check out Wix Studio Academy.